Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. Welcome Wazen, welcome Who MD. So we can get started here now. Axiom Verge, one of my new favourite games. It's very Metroid style. And I've always, well, I've wanted Nintendo to make more Metroid games, and they just haven't. <laughs> but thankfully, this game is here, and it's pretty great, I think. Get the volume set up. A little bit quiet for me. That's better. We're going to play on hard. It's just a little bit more tense and interesting. I actually had a fair bit of pro uh, trouble just on my normal playthrough, but... Um, when, the, when I first played the game, but once you get used to the enemies and stuff, it's much easier. So hard should make things a little tense, especially with a couple of really nasty bosses. And welcome to Axiom Verge. Yes, all the Metroid likes are welcome. Every, any kind of Metroidvania game I love. It's probably my favourite genre, actually. I'm sad to hear that, wasn't That your hard drive died? At least your save file should be in the cloud, so hopefully once you get a new hard drive it should be okay. And yeah, the, uh, the soundtrack for this game is great. So at the start we can just kind of hop around and that's all we can really do. So we'll go check out this gun. Yeah, I love the soundtrack of this game. And this is a pretty great moment here. A biomechanoid weapon. And the music starts and the background fades in. It's great. Strange lady talking to us. Those we'll see her later. Welcome, Taurus Oxford. We've got these little red bubbles we can blow up. You don't need to do that for anything, but it's fun. <laughs> and now we can get through here. Very 
very Metroid-like enemies just running along the uh, surfaces. Not trying to hurt us, but they will hurt us if we touch them, so just be careful. And in true Metroid style, I think we can't get through yet. Also, you can uh, use the L1 button to lock your position and shoot diagonally. Very useful. It wasn't. I'm glad your computer was, is still working since you still have a functional hard drive. Sucks when your whole computer dies. And we can't get through here yet. It's a Metroid game through and through. <laughs> There is an achievement for shooting lots of these red bubbles, so it's fun to shoot them. Another one of these strange gates. Only one path to go for now. These things are a little annoying. They spit out enemies. So we'll keep our distance and just shoot it. I don't want to go near those things, they'll shoot us. You know what, this is much easier if I just hop up here. <laughs> there we go. Much better. And this poor thing can't do anything to us from up here. What sucks worse is when it dies and attacks you in the process. Ooh, has that happened? It's some exploding parts. That sounds awful. Rocked you through the mouse. That's horrible. Jeez. It's awful. And this is a place we can't actually do anything with yet, so... Might as well kill this thing. It can't shoot us down here. Uh-huh. Might as well show you this stuff. Crazy glitch stuff. Pretty freaky. Oh, and it actually hurts you. <laughs> Welcome, Shinobi. And make use of our lovely diagonal shot. Hey, I can see you coming up behind me. And I'm not going down there until you're dead. There we go. They drop little red things sometimes. That's your health. One way to go. I was a cool some enemies try and get some more health. Our health bar is so tiny at the start of this game. Look at this, it's a tiny little thing. But we have our first upgrade. The Nova. It's another weapon. You set the sphere, hit shoot again and it'll uh Put that in different directions. It's rather slow firing since it takes like two button presses to detonate it. You can't really rapid fire it, so I don't use it a whole lot. But the spread on it is very useful at this point in the game. And it helps us actually progress because... There we go. <laughs> we can use it to hit things that we can't normally reach. We'll use it for a little bit here. There is like a quick select thing for your weapons, and that's what the weapon select normally looks like. But you a little tough timing the shots if you don't use this weapon a whole lot. I never really looked up what kind of damage this weapon does. It doesn't feel like it's a whole lot more than the actual normal disruptor. Yeah, that feels like it's taking forever. But it just do di diagonal jump shots. Oh, excellent little sniping spot back here. <laughs> yeah. Things do have more health on hard, but it's it's not really a big deal, apart from bosses. These enemies are probably the the biggest HP walls in the game, apart from bosses. So 
suppose it's because later on we get a weapon that just does tons of damage we can use to kill stuff. Oh, come here, Sage again. Yeah, downward uh, diagonals with this. Actually, I don't know if it does more damage before it splits. Or if it just, when it splits, it does the same amount. I don't know. Look at the stat of the uh, stats page on the wiki. I dare go here. I think I. Sure, I'll try. We could die here because this room is rather nasty. But there's an upgrade here I want. If we die, it's no big deal. Knife them a little bit. These are classic Metroid style enemies, they'll start swooping at you. That big one takes a lot of hits, so I want to be real careful here. This is one of the diciest rooms in the game, actually, on uh, hard. When you do it this early. But you don't have to. You can come back here later. Alright, do I dare get closer? Oh. <laughs> Scary. I want to kill that big one. You know what? Oh, okay, it died. I was just going to use a Nova. But it's okay. Boop. Boop. That'll do. We can finish him off. There. I have died. I died here when I was doing my normal hard playthrough. That's why I was so careful there. Now we're pretty much home free. Boom. Did I just say normal hard playthrough? My original hard playthrough. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. There is a wiki that has the info on this sort of stuff, so I should look at that later. Yeah, we get this thingy for our trouble. Eyes node. Makes projectiles a bit bigger. Pretty good. Our projectiles are a little bit bigger. They're both weapons, I think. Which is always a good upgrade. Bigger hitboxes. Onwards. If you like killing that little thing, it's not hurting me. And now we can get through here. Big shot does 1.5 times the regular shot. Oh, okay, that's good to know. We have a very noisy enemy over there. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, get out of here. A one way thing there. Can't do anything there. And lovely save point. Save points look really weird in this game. They're these eggs. Mechanical eggs. Love the music for this area too. But now it's boss time. This, These are pre-boss rooms. They kind of remind me of Zelda 1 actually when you get near the boss. If you're in the room next to the boss, you hear like a boss like growling or roaring or whatever. Pretty cool. Welcome, Jester. Or a demon, apparently. First boss of the game. Not very hard. It's first boss. <laughs> there are a lot of shots to dodge there. It sort of swaps between these two patterns of dropping these bombs and they're just shooting these spread shots. I like when it's shooting the bombs because it's uh, the bombs have a little delay on them, so you kind of watch the bombs and try not to be there when they explode. It's interesting that it kind of tracks you while it's shooting the normal shots and then when it's bombing it just 
kind of drops bombs everywhere. <laughs> and it, it does that Metroid thing of uh, the more damage it gets, the redder it gets. Ah, nice little safe spot here. It does seem to be pretty random where it drops the bombs, doesn't it? Oh yeah, getting tons of shots from down here. Just having that lock-in button to shoot diagonally upwards is great. I love that effect when bosses die, just, just pixels and stuff going everywhere, it's brilliant. Ah, no problem Jester, I had fun making it. And an upgrade! Laser drill. Cut through rock. Very useful. It's uh, it's it's bound to one of the analog triggers, so you can press it in slightly and have like this little thing coming out, and press it in all the way. Yeah, kind of fun to mess with. It does hurt enemies too. Not a lot, but a little bit. True, yeah. Poor thing. It was in the way, so. Lovely upgrade, a power node. Increases weapon and item damage. So it, that applies to our drill as well. We see we're drilling faster. And yeah, we just do more damage now. <laughs> That's a lot more damage, actually. Yeah, those power nodes, they make a big difference. Very useful. There is a weapon we can go and get now, actually. Oh, we'll go do that before we move on. Because now we can drill up here. These green enemies explode when they die, so don't get too close to them. Otherwise I would drill through them. <laughs> but uh, that's dangerous. We don't want to die. Welcome Furiora. Uh, my arthritis is doing better. I, I don't know what, what's wrong with my wrist, if it's arthritis, tendonitis or whatever. I'm seeing my arthritis specialist next month, but um, in the meantime I've got some new anti-inflammatories which seem to be helping. Jeez, that did a lot of damage actually. <laughs> oh, health, thank you. Oh. There we go. Jump isn't quite big enough yet. Yes, my wrist problems are a little better now. That's good. Multi disruptor. Another weapon. Or a little spread shot sort of thing. It's short range, but it's a you know it's a spread shot. It's useful. And we can't quite jump up there yet. Okay, so it's plus 10 for main shot, plus 15 for the big Nova shot, and plus 9 for spread. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. We'll use this little spread shot thing for a little bit. I do have just favourite weapons that I tend to stick with when I'm normally playing this, but I, uh, when I'm sort of showing off the game like this, I kind of want to show off as many of the little weapons as I can. Um, we could go back to the save point and get our health back. This save point's pretty close, we might as well do that. I love when games have the save point that just refills your health. It's good. It's kind of pointless when the save points don't refill your health. Then you can save with like no health left and put yourself in a bad spot. This game doesn't do that though. Still love this music. 
so I, I do definitely have arthritis because I have it in my hip, which is uh, rather un unpleasant. I've actually, my hip joint is actually fused together, one of my hip joints anyway. So it's rather painful, but um, as for my wrist, I don't know what's wrong with that yet. That is in an awkward spot, but we can just ignore it. <laughs> and this thing. One of these things again. Best to stick below it. Yeah, we killed it in time. It's all good. What's my favourite weapon out of any of the DMC games? Oh, that's a, that's a tough choice. I think I'm going to go with Ifrit from DMC1. The very first gauntlet weapon. It could shoot meteors, it could... Yeah, we've got these crazy things we can't do anything with. It could shoot meteors, it could do Inferno. Yeah. I mean, it has a much smaller move set than the other gauntlets, but it just felt the most satisfying to me. Oop. Ah, that door there. Oh, I'll show you what's in there. So you know why I'm not going in there? We can't jump high enough. Oh, the jump's too bad. Hey. See if you drop any health. Nope. Oh well. We're about to hit a save point anyways. Uh, I don't think we could do anything in this room yet, could we? I don't think we can jump high enough. There's a health node there. No, we can't get up there. That's okay. We will come back later. We will get everything. We want all the things. Hey, Soltastic. Oh, good. I'm glad it helped out. Also, just shooting all these things as you run along is fun. And they put one of these right in your path. A health node. Increases their health bar. Thing much better. <laughs> now our health bar isn't like 10 pixels. <laughs> Onto a new area. No, I haven't watched that yet. I, I haven't really watched any of the death battles, so maybe I should. And ta-da! Save point. We'll use it. It sets our new respawn point. Oh, Yamato. Yamato is pretty great. Also, had a lot of different move sets throughout the games, and they've all been pretty interesting. So, these blue ones are pretty much the same, they just have a bit more health. <laughs> Not very exciting. And we don't want to get down there, because that thing spits stuff everywhere. Ah. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was close. Health node taunting us. I'll leave a reminder so I don't uh, forget that that's there. There we go. You can leave the reminders on your map. Little one. The starting area was Erebu. We're in Absu now. It's kind of hard to remember these names. Can't jump high enough there. There we go. Yeah, when you when you crouch and you lock in, you do stay crouching and you can't jump. So. That enemy there, zombies. They're really nasty in this game. They will just jump. They will just run right at you. Yeah, they just jump in your hitbox over and over. <laughs> They're pretty nasty. They killed me a lot in my first playthrough. So you try and line up your shots and spam the hell out of them before they can reach you. So much pink. More weird glitchy stuff. Weird stuff going on here. There's nothing actually we really want from here yet, I don't think. What was there an upgrade? 
We just drill through. There's a few different ways to get to where you want to go in this area. But we'll come back to that spot later. When we're clearing out the map and all that. There's, a, there's actually a lot of upgrades in this area we can't get till pretty late in the game. More save points. We didn't need the health, but uh, might as well set our respawn point. Don't want to go all the way back to the start of the area. If we die. And hey, what's this? Seems to be the only one who can tell us what the hell is going on, but she's dying. That's uh, that's that's great. Silver. Silver is brilliant. It's very short range, but it does a ton of damage. It's one of the best weapons in the game, that's for sure. It can also go through walls, so it can open these gates. Very good. Actually, change my uh, weapon setup, and then this can be that. Yeah, that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, zombie. Are you zombies? <laughs> Oh, oh god, yeah, you don't want to get down and fight them at their level. They will wreck you. Yeah, kill was amazing. 34 plus 17, that sounds about right. <laughs> There's a reason it has a short range. Oh, health. Thank you, that's what I wanted. Alright, that stuff is, uh, we're not going to get much from there. It's just going to lead us back to the main, uh, that starting room. I want to go this way. Got me. I don't want to trigger these. Oh god. I'm getting much more wrecked by the zombies now. Kill her. Thank you. Nothing in there, but we can't get that yet. So we will come back later. This zombie sucks. Best to just run right past it. <laughs> it's in a real awkward spot to fight. So yeah, just avoid it, I think. Then we can go down, but there's uh, nothing there we really want at the moment. Uh, this place is lovely. Yes, I can get that health orb now. I think I'll get it later, though. I have to go all the way back. Yeah. So what the hell happened here? Lovely place. Yeah, the moveset for, uh, in 4 Special Edition for Virgil is pretty crazy. I need to practice up as him. I haven't played much Virgil in that game yet, so I'm pretty bad at him. But uh, yeah, seeing some videos on YouTube of what people can do with him is amazing. He's really cool. A little bit of health. We don't need it though, because we're about to hit a save point. You know what? Kill her. <laughs> It was in three shots instead of four. Very good. This is pretty gross. Yeah, that'd be nice if you could warp to other save, uh, save rooms. That'd be really cool, actually. I'd be quite down for that. Okay, just quickly debating what I want to do here. Yeah, 
you know, I'll do this. Second boss. Look how he at least tries to talk to bosses. So this boss can be completely cheesed by doing that. <laughs> yeah, the villager didn't realise that you could just run through it and you can just shoot it from behind. And you just do this. You have to make sure it doesn't back up into you. But we don't want to cheese it, so let's die. Mind machines. They don't really explain what that is, but you can kind of read into the lore and find out what that is. Are any of us still us? Good question. I do like how he has an actual reaction to dying. <laughs> it's pretty good. Alright, let's try and fight this thing uh, properly. Because it's much more tense. Ooh. These shots are weird. Sometimes they hit me even when I'm ducking. I'll have to keep an eye on what's going on there. Maybe I'm just releasing the down button accidentally. I just have to shoot it in that yellow thing on its back. I don't want to be anywhere near its shots it's shooting. Actually, it's... Oh, whoops. Its gun actually looks a lot like... Oh, God. Our gun. That's interesting. Oh, boy. Interesting little detail, eh? Oh, yeah. See, that, that one hit me even though I was ducking... Not too sure what causes that. I'm gonna back up here. Yeah, it's a bit too close to me for comfort. I'm very red, so it's probably close to death. Yeah, this boss is way more fun when you fight it normally like this. <laughs> oh geez, its shots are very close together now. I'm gonna back up. Oh boy! Whoop! A death. We had a death. Can you kill the yellow thing on its foot from behind? I don't know actually, I haven't tried that. And people used to think distortion was a glitch in DMC4. I actually, I don't know if it is a glitch. I still haven't um, figured that out. <laughs> because um, a lot of uh, Things like that in games like DMC. Sometimes they start off as glitches and then it turns out that they just add depth to the mechanics. That just makes the game better and then they just get accepted as uh, mechanics. So yeah, I, I still don't know if, that, if distortion on Dante's attacks are a glitch or not. Either way though, they definitely add a lot of fun to his playstyle. And uh, they definitely accepted it as a mechanic because they didn't remove it from the special edition and they added it to Virgil. Like, um, I think jump cancelling may have been a glitch in number one. You could do that crazy shotgun hiking technique, but only with a shotgun. And so they made it a lot more versatile in number three. It wasn't in number two at all, but number two was bad. <laughs> Let's face it. Number two dropped a lot of things that were good about number one. I do like how the boss just changes colour so much. There we go. That was way smoother. 
Was that a lot more fun than just cheesing it? That was more fun. Only game Dante didn't get stabbed by his own sword. It's true. <laughs> well, I forget. Did he get stabbed by his sword in num in the reboot? Not that that really counts, but still. Cool, very cool upgrade here. Address disruptor. It corrupts things. It's on its own button, so we don't have to swap to it like a weapon or anything. It's a very unique thing, and this is where the game starts to really show its own flavour. Yeah, so there's these glitchy blocks here we can make appear. And it can corrupt enemies as well. Yeah, so these things uh, can't really do anything with them, but corrupt them. We can ride them like platforms. But oh, we're going to make it up here. Oh, nope, okay. We want one of these ones. That's better. And that opens the gate if we want to go back. But we don't. We'll continue on. Now, very interesting upgrade. Another thing we can't reach. Our jump is, uh... Well, t to be honest, if I saw a human being jumping this high, I would be pretty stunned. <laughs> In this world, though, it's not enough. Got to do better. Another health node. Nice. The game's really giving them out at this point. Make sure we get a good start on our health bar. Ah, don't even need to fight you. Oops. So we can hack these things, and it makes us start breaking through blocks. They'll hurt you pretty bad though, so be careful. You can hack every enemy in this game, except actual bosses. Hack these things and they just start freaking out. <laughs> every enemy has, has a uh, unique hack. Uh, hack effect. Hack Effect. Why hasn't they made a game called Hack Effect yet? And that one reveals some a nice item that we want. Oh, hey, hey buddy. I don't trust you, I'm gonna kill you. Thanks. And another size node. Oh yeah. Let's see how big our shots are now. It's pretty good. Yellow 3 just isn't fair. He's... I, I love that fight, except for the, the way he goes up in the air and shoots friggin' swords at you. <laughs> I, would, I just wish he was a bit more consistent as to how often he did it. What happens if we hack this thing? Okay. We can't hack it yet. Oh, hacking this isn't good enough. Oh well. I suppose hacking is the wrong term. It's corrupting. Ah. Hacking is just easier to say. Also, there's a there's an achievement for hacking one of every kind of enemy, so... If you want that, hack all the things. Ow. And we've got an enemy just freaking out here. It's meant to tip us off that uh, there's a platform there. Oh, I love Nightmare 3. Nightmare 3 is probably my favourite boss in the series. And some lore. So I'll let you all read this if you want. Okay. There's some weird shit happen in this 
place. Yeah, that, that corridor will just lead us back up to uh, where we were before, where, with all the zombies. We don't have to go that way here. We can continue on. Also get our health refill. The heart core's center heart is the same model as Nightmare. Really? Oh, didn't know that. As in Leviathan's heart in number three. Yeah, I love Nightmare Three. It's it's a it's just so much fun once you learn what what it's doing and why, and then you can manipulate it into doing what you want. It's cool. These enemies are pretty interesting. You can hack them, and it actually hacks all of the enemy of that type in the room. And you shoot it blow it up and they all die. Pretty good. You're annoying. Yeah. Kill that. Kill you. Okay, my quick slip isn't set right. It's annoying me. Or is it? It might actually... Yeah, it was set right. Okay. There's something up here that I want. Once you get the drill, you kind of start drilling everything <laughs> to try to, uh, yeah, to try to find things. And hey, that's a language we can't read. All right, fair enough. Can't fit. Okay, where are we? Yeah, here. These enemies are pretty annoying. They shoot upwards. This one's not annoying because it's below a platform, but these ones will try and snipe us. Yeah, they do like a spread shot sort of thing. Yeah, just gonna try and dodge them. Well, you, I can kill you because you're right in my line of fire. Oh. Now, did that do that much damage or have I taken damage from something already? Look at the save points everywhere in this game. Clear out this room of enemies. Actually, do we want to do that yet? I won't blow them up just yet. Yeah, Night Nightmare is a heavily scripted and patterned boss. Once you, if you don't know what's going on, then yeah, it's like really frustrating. Once you know what its patterns are, then you can like manipulate it and doing exactly what you want. Pretty cool. It's a, it rewards you for having outside knowledge of the game, which probably isn't great design, honestly, but uh, I just like when games make me feel smart and reward me for doing cool stuff. Yeah, so these enemies, since they all blow up once we kill one, this is an interesting little puzzle where we can get one of those block enemies to destroy that switch. Need to wait till it's near the switch. Ta-da! It's a cool puzzle. I like it. And we get a health node. Yummy. We want all those that we can get. It's five to increase your health. I thought it was four. It's five. Not exactly like Zelda. <laughs> and I don't think we can get anything from that room up there yet. No. We won't bother going there yet. I don't know those annoying enemies, but we can shortcut through here. There's a lot of rooms in this game where you can shortcut through it to skip a bunch of enemies. And a power node, we want that, that's for sure. The full power node. None of this fragment stuff. Yep, yeah, blue orb fragments. Or heart, heart pieces. Power node. Yeah, even more weapon damage. Not gonna say no to that, that's for sure. And we're on to, I believe this is Z. Yes, Z. Third area. Those enemies are annoying, I'm just gonna run. 
They just kind of charge at you. What if you hack them? Makes them slower. Not a big change. And scorpions shooting spread shots. Hack them and they shoot these pathetic little tiny things. Take a lot of hits. There we go. These steam vents will hurt you. But be careful. Come back, I wanna hack you. And hack you over there. There we go. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Glancing at chat here. Which uh, Zelda game was it that had uh, you had to like five heart pieces to get a heart container instead of four. I think it was Twilight Princess. That was real weird. I'll kill you, see if you give me health. Nope, okay. And right here is actually a point of no return for now. Once we go down here, we cannot get back. Well, that's okay, we don't need to get back. We've got plenty of stuff to do over here. Hmm, save point. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the Griffin fights. Nello and Jello is pretty fun though. What was the, the lore behind Griffin? I never really looked into it. And there's something here that we can't reach. Not yet anyway. Leave a reminder. Uh, you hold L1 to to aim and fire without moving. You see uh, next to my next to the uh, weapon display in the top right, you'll see there's a lock icon that appears. That, shows that we're currently locked in place. Yeah, it's L1 on my controller. Yeah, also this room you can skip most of it by drilling into the wall. Ta-da! We can uh, ignore all those annoying scorpions. Very useful little pathway there. And some glitchy mess over there we can't do anything with because... Actually, I haven't shown you, haven't I? I'll probably show you. Our hacking isn't... it's not good enough. We can't hack that. It actually really confused me when I first played the game. I got the hacking ability, I was really excited. I tried using it on all the glitchy stuff we'd seen up till now and it didn't work on pretty much any of it. One of these weird wall things. And that enemy over there is pretty nasty. Zooms at you. Takes a lot of hits. Very hard to kill it before it reaches you. And ta-da! Enemies coming out of these uh, shoots, I guess they are. We can... no, we can't hack it yet. Ah, Kilva's so good against these things. I don't even care where your vulnerable spot is, I'm just going to hit all of you right now. At the same time. Oh, another one of those things. Yeah, snipe it from back here. Very good. Very, it's definitely worth being careful around those enemies. You can rack up a lot of damage on you very suddenly, very quickly. Also, oh, these walls, can we hack them yet? No, not yet. Oh, no. No. Making a, uh, a you can't do this noise. Reminds me of the eye doors from some of the, the Metroid games. Welcome, Tide Rick. Oh, it is sad that the Griffin knew he he couldn't defeat Dante. We've got these little I don't know what these are, like little tendrils. They make you move slower and jump, and your jump isn't as high when you jump out of them. They respawn. We we'll go check out what's down here. Another one of these lovely jail areas. God, these things are creepy. I think it's another one of these people.
water machine. Water machines, whatever that means. I don't really go into it. With the... It made me think that a water machine, you could kind of ex describe our brains as a water machine. It took me down a strange path of thinking that the game doesn't really follow. Just some backstory. Yes, his sideburns are real weird, aren't they? <laughs> and these enemies, these are, are annoying. They just shoot stuff everywhere, so you really want to take them out as you're going up. Or they will just spam you with stuff. Ah, Kilva, you're the best. Kilva's the best. I don't think we, don't think we can get anything in there right now. Stop. Um, where are we? Check me map. Looking at the wrong zone here. I've got a little map on my 3DS to remind me where all the pickups are. Okay, yeah, we can't do that yet. So onwards to another save point. Woo! Yes, I love that uh, Griffin's battle theme is called Flock Off. That's great. And this one's a little awkward. But we can kill it from below. Aha! Silver, it's so good. It's so good. I'm going to snipe some of them from here. And you see that these bubbles are actually blocking some of our shots. There's an achievement for blowing up enough bubbles as well. Okay, is this... yeah. Not well, debating whether or not to point this out, but um, right now, watch the top left of the screen really carefully. If you saw it, well, good on you. Not going to say anything about it because spoilers. <laughs> Onto the fourth area because we can't do anything more in that area yet. And this is Kerr, I believe. Yeah, Kerr. These laser enemies, laser eyeballs. These enemies, you really want to hack them. Because once you hack them, their beams no longer hurt you. And it's much quicker than killing them. It feels like there's a lot of save points close together at this point in the game. <laughs> Wait for that thing to pass. Yeah, these. Once you hack these beams, they have a really cool property. They can break through certain walls, which our drill can't. And that gives us a lovely shortcut in this room to dodge all that stuff. It's pretty good. Oh, oh no, wrong button. Oh well. Let's wait for it to come back around so we can escape. It is learning. Oh god, laser. Stop. <laughs> you have to look out when they change their uh, orientation. That laser can sweep under you and hit you. Area of this room. Where we can't do anything. Double light bars. Just to make sure we can't do anything. <laughs> Bunch of stuff up here. Oh, power node. Which we want very much, but we can't have. Not yet. What's well, gonna be the best way to kill these things? This will probably be good. Actually, bye. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Hack them and they just kind of float away. Never to be seen again. <laughs> That's interesting. A flame burger? How's it different? Oh, it's got this weird glitchy stuff going on. And uh, the upgrades we get later on are pretty different from Metroid upgrades. I think this game does a great job of differentiating itself from Metroid. And that a lot of the later upgrades are just really interesting and different. Doesn't just doesn't it have a space jump and a screw attack? It, it has its own flavour.
And yeah, that laser can kill enemies once it's hacked. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, a little, very small thing we can't get in. So obviously there's a more full style thing we get. It's, this game has its own take on it, which is pretty cool. Not just a more full. Those enemies, uh, maneuver. Yeah. Okay, can't quite reach. How many can I get with the Kuva? I'm having trouble thinking of what weapon to use. Oh, I'll just fall down. <laughs> That'll do. Just fall down. We'll kill you so you don't bother us on the way back. Yeah, there we go. Ta da! New upgrade. Not a very exciting upgrade. Especially straight from Metroid. The Field Disruptor. It, it's it's the high jump. It alters local physics to augment jumping ability. It makes this jump pretty high. Pretty useful. It's yeah, not the most exciting upgrade, but it's very useful. It let's us go up here with this a fake wall and a new weapon. The fire wall. Which I don't really use very much, but uh, we'll play around with it. Yeah, it sort of shoots downwards in an arc. Leaving fire everywhere. Getting low on health here, so I will be careful. Got you. Oh, is that laser beam going to get me? I'm going to run away. It'll probably kill me. Depends on if it decided to laser or not. Well, it, it didn't, wouldn't actually matter if we died here, because we'll, we'll just go back to the save point. Oh yeah, these enemies are way easier to just snipe them from back here. <laughs> I need to get fancy. PK fire! Yeah, actually, it is a PK fire. And we still can't get that. Oh. oh well. Now we can go back to the previous area. And there's some stuff we can do there now. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think that laser would get me. It got me leg. I had my foot blown off. And yeah, we just teleport back here. This game, you don't actually lose progress when you die. You don't lose any upgrades you picked up. Which is very nice. Yeah, see, we, we kept everything because you know us dying is actually part of the, the story we've been we've been given a new body I guess but now we can reach that spot over there we couldn't reach before Boing. Let's try the firewall. This might be a bad idea. Oh, that was alright. Worked alright. Got a nice uh, hitbox on it. Makes it easy to hit enemies that are in your face. Hmm, alright. Not bad. Actually found a use for the firewall. We walk so slowly through this stuff. And down here, we just have a little bit of a tease. Thing we can't get yet. Oh. <laughs> you can tell when these enemies are around, because you see these these patterns on the roof or on the floor. These tunnels, I guess they are. There's absolutely no reason for me to walk over to you, so... Knife you to death from a distance. Zombies. There we go. Do with them before they can get us. That's a good strategy. Where's it going? 
Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, now we have a save point, which we definitely want to use. Oh yeah, now that we have the higher jump, I think we can yeah, we can fill in the other the other square on these save points, which really annoys me <laughs> that you have to get an upgrade to fill in that square. Then you have to go back and fill in the squares and the other save points. But up here we can't reach. It looks like we almost can, but we can't. Because we can't go there yet. Oh well. And we're on to the boss of the third area. Which is a pretty cool looking boss. Pretty big. <laughs> Oops. He said, oh crap. I accidentally skipped through that. Yeah, he's kind of given up talking to him at this point. Yeah, so this boss looks cool. It's in all the promotional stuff. It does look really neat. It's a pretty simple boss fight. You kind of just want to find the safe spots where the boss can't hit you with its weapons. With that big freaking laser. Which you have to watch out when it finishes shooting the laser, it comes back down slightly. Yeah, that'll hit you on the head. If you're not still ducking. It's also shooting those bombs. So we don't want to be anywhere near the bottom of the room. It's one of those bosses that has a lot of different little parts you can blow up, which I really, I really like when bosses have that. So we can actually blow up its laser. Which would be useful, because the laser, look how much of the room it hits. It's a lot. You can actually just go straight for its weak point, the actual boss's weak point, and kill it first before blowing up any parts. But this is a safe way of doing it. Speedruns do that, of course. <laughs> they go inside its hitbox and just go straight through the weak point. It's a shame the different parts don't change colour to show you how weak they are, like the main bosses do. There we go. You think that purple thing would be its weak spot, but it's not. It's actually its. Uh, its mouth. It's actually its face. You can see eyes in there. That's the face that talks to you in the little dialogue boxes. We can blow up the mine shooters, might as well. Blow that up because we can. Yeah. I think it's angry and it starts shooting these big shots at us. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple boss. It's pretty much just find the safe point and shoot the boss. <laughs> Not too exciting, unfortunately. But yeah, it looks cool. And it's fun blowing up its different parts. Look, I'm it. Not sure if the firewall would reach it from here. Uh, oh, I can hack a spot in front of me. Can we reach its face? Let's find out. Get a little close here. Oh god. I fell through. It's okay, we're safe. Do I fall off that block or do you just fall through it? We'll see. Oh! Okay, that, that is working well. Nice! <laughs> Thank you, Cornix, for giving me a more interesting way of fighting that. Then we have to figure out how to get across the room, which is hack the blocks. Yeah, these blocks you can hack them while the boss is still alive. And so speedrunners hack the blocks to stand inside the boss's hitbox and just shoot up at its mouth. Amp and shoot, are we playing DMC2? <laughs> Thankfully not. Thankfully not. We've got some weird machines here. Yeah, so there's a laser there. Let me activate this thing. Oh, 
poison, so she was poisoned. Must be unpleasant. And now we get some actual background info. Woohoo! So maybe not. <laughs> so we want to activate the repair drones and we want to find Ophelia. Ophelia is not the head we found earlier, that was Veruska. I feel it's the third one we haven't seen yet. So this is, uh, I'd say, about a quarter into the game. And the English in this game is it's intentional. Elsa Nova doesn't speak very good English. And we have an upgrade, which is a lab coat. It's a pretty cool lab coat. <laughs> Biomechanoid lab coat, which can do this. Glitch through walls. It's pretty cool. I love it. Welcome, Geo. Now the file firewall weapon is in Kerr. It's uh, it's where you get the high jump. It's yeah, the room right next to where you get the high jump. There's a there's a fake wall you can jump into. So now we can teleport through uh, one space wide walls. Not not any wider, only this width. Zip. And so now we can get that uh, health node from above us. Love that glitching effect when you go through walls, it's great. Even more health, excellent. We're going to need it too. Enemies aren't so tough so far, but uh, the game does hit a point. Whoops! You can unglitch the blocks from under you. <laughs> the game does hit a point where the enemies start getting really nasty. But we do want all the health we can get on hard. Yeah, the HR Geiger influences are pretty cool. I really like it. Okay, eh, I need to use a save point. So now we can go back into Kerr and we can do some stuff there. Bloody zombies. Bloody zombies! Uh -huh. Uh 
Our default shot's so much more powerful now. Yeah, so glitches, they're a mechanic. Pretty cool. So they're the, uh, any glitchiness you see is the breach that Elsa Nova was talking about. Kind of like an anti-universe sort of thing? I don't, I don't fully understand. It's another side of the universe that's kind of bleeding through. Kilva! It is possible to not get hit by these enemies. Kind of run under them and, and you have to time it so you don't get hit by their shot. But it's pretty tough. But a little bit of damage isn't too bad. They don't do very much actually, do they? I wonder if the lab coat actually decreases the damage you take. I don't know. Anything else we want to do while we're here? I think so. Yeah. We can do everything here later. I'm gonna shoot you because you're a little bit in the way. I forget who Vanilla was from Wreck It Ralph. Was that the. Oh, yeah, no, I know who that is now. That was a good movie. I really like that movie. Ooh, just in time. <laughs> it was gonna laser us. We can fill out this map square now, which has been bothering me. Thing! A Zombies Aliens movie. I'm sure someone has. <laughs> I'm sure someone's made that. If it involves zombies, then someone's done it. Oh, we can just hack, we can just, yeah, teleport through. Don't need to wait for you, lasers. Make your own path. I'm still gonna hack you so you don't laser me. I guess I'll use your way. Now, we can get a lovely power node. Yummy. And I'll also show you this area. It's not something we can do anything in yet. I'll show you that it exists. Another big head thing. And yeah, we can't reach. That place exists. I'll show you what it's for later on when we're able to actually do things there. Oh! Surprise! So these things are weird if you hack them. They start crawling along the roof. Actually, they're turning into another enemy that we haven't seen yet. They behave like a different enemy. Which is pretty weird. Kill you because you're there. Thank you. Need an air hike. <laughs> air hike would be pretty fun. We get something a little more interesting in this game, though, I think. Than just a standard double jump. Welcome, Art Waltz. And these enemies are pretty nasty. We can't shoot them with our normal weapons. We can't hack them. You have to drill them. Which means you got to get in pretty close. We've got to be pre pretty careful with those enemies so far. Lovely teleport. And this spot, remember this spot if you're playing through the game. This is where you'll need to go to later. It's easy to forget that that thing's there though. I oh, know I did. <laughs> ah, we can uh, go this way. Oh. A little easy to reach this enemy from here. Oop. Yeah. Yeah, so your first time through this area, you've got to be pretty careful. Push on hard. You know what, I can just uh, skip that enemy. We get, we get much better ways of dealing with these enemies later. Dun, 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 dun. Nice music here too. Ooh. And that's a pretty weird enemy. It just charges at you. It's got a wheel for some reason. I 
I've definitely seen Virgil's level 3 super at some point from Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3, but it's been quite a while since I've played that. Ding! Fit in that map square. Also, we can hack them. And they basically turn into those plants from earlier. Yeah, they start spinning out ores. Hey, we've got some boulders. Yep, there's one. Hey, we can drill them. And are these boulders, uh, if you're going for the achievements, you want to hack these boulders. There we can hack them, and they just kind of float away. <laughs> it, they count as an enemy, apparently. Yep, I saw you up there, buddy. Come back down here. Yeah, Kilvid. Oh, I should have waited for that boulder. Oh well. We'll be fine. Yes, this is one of the only areas... Actually, I think this is the only area in the game that has two different bits of music. Oh no, wait, there's one later on. It's pretty rare for an area to have two different tracks, though. But it's fitting because the two different areas of this... Uh, two different versions of this place are pretty different. We've got the surface here, which is uh, pretty crazy looking. We've got these massive spores or something in the background? I don't know. Looks pretty cool and alien though. Then you've got the indoor areas, which are really cave-like. I, I love both pieces of music. And now we're going to get something pretty cool. I like it. Can't make that jump. But we don't need to. Because we got a lovely upgrade. The remote drone. I love the drone, it's great. This is our drone. It's very cute. It has a little laser. to make it dance. And of course it can fit in these areas. But this is this game's version of the Morph Hall. A really interesting different take on it, I think. And I love this design here too. They put one of these enemies here, which you can only damage with the laser. So it shows us that this laser that this uh, drone has, it just works just like our drill. Our drill when we're trace. Well, that's all we need to do as a drone. So it returns to trace. We can get through here now. Oh yes, I am an, an achievement trophy collector. I love collecting them. And they're just getting getting a hundred percent in games. There's an awkward spot to get through. Wing, there we go. Okay, I don't think there's much else we want to do here for now. Have a look at the map. Where are we? There we are. Yeah, there's not much else we can uh, do here right now. Maybe we'll head back down. Get a health refill. Bing! Yes, I'm, I'm an OCD 100%er, which is why I'm doing 100% on this playthrough. Because <laughs> not doing 100% would bother me. I want to show all the things, and show all the secrets and stuff. poor things. Once they're below you, they can't do anything. I'll show you what's over here, which is a whole lot of nothing at the moment. Oh, two of these things. All these enemies ended up at the bottom of the, of the world the room. Yeah, not much we can do. We can fire our drone up there, but yeah. There's not much to see here. We get a lot of interesting abilities very quickly at this point in the game. Just we can now, now use our drone to get something else. Back down here. See ya. <laughs> Much easier to just jump over these enemies. Very good. I was hoping it would die before it could uh, hit me with its poison. And this outside area looks so freaky. 
Here we go. Yes, a lot of people don't like this this track because of the vocals. I like it. I think it sounds nice. I have seen people say like, oh the Axiom Verge soundtrack, the vocals ruin it for me, but this is like the only track in the game that has vocals, so I don't know why they're freaking out. Actually no, we don't we wanna go this way. We can go in here now. We can fit our drone through this little tunnel. Activate the switch, which lets Trace come through. How did I get my hand condition? It just kind of happened. <laughs> I was fine and then I wasn't. Hey Lauren. Yeah, so we have to use our uh, drone to get through here. Ooh, kind of a drone gauntlet. If the laser is pretty strong on this thing, uh, ignore. <laughs> you can just oh, uh, you know we we will fight it because we have to come through here as Trace. Yeah. yeah. And there's a thing there which we badly want, but the drone can't go through walls. So we have to find a way of getting Trace here. You have a friend who was big into getting platinum on consoles, and then they started playing Forex games. <laughs> I haven't gotten too into Forex games yet, but uh, I'm assuming that'll happen to me. I want to play, I want to try out Civ 5, which I haven't played yet. So activate this switch, and that. Turns off these uh, lasers, and now we can get traced through. Yeah, there are some games I'll have to just settle for not getting all the things. A game like this, though, it's perfect for 100 percenting and excellent upgrade. I just disrupted two. Now we can finally hack these things. We can have quite a few things now that we couldn't before, including enemies. Wait for you and shoot you. Yeah. I'm going to hack you because I know you're going to try and laser me. No, oh, okay. Hacked you anyway. All right. So now that we have the level two disruptor. Where do we go? Well, it's very easy to be misled at this point. I know I was. Because we can have this thing now. We can go in here. But you don't want to go in here. This is Eden. And it's an area we shouldn't be yet. These enemies are pretty na- Oh gee, look how much damage that did. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, you should not go in there yet. You can't actually do anything there yet anyway, so... Even if you go through the trouble of fighting those enemies and not not dying, um, yeah, you know, you won't even get anything for it. We just find a dead end that you can't get through yet. Oh, we can hack these things now, and it makes them vulnerable to all of our weapons. Very nice. I love when games do that when they have a, an enemy that's tough to deal with, and then you get an upgrade that just destroys them. Makes you feel powerful. This is where we want to go. We can hack through here. Oh, actually, no. There's something I, something else I want from here. We can send our drone through here. We have another little drone gauntlet. So we can get a nice new thing that we want. And pretty, the drone laser doesn't go through walls. We have to be pretty careful when dealing with these enemies. Oh. I say as I bump into one. <laughs> All right. Yes, one day I will get into Civ Five, and uh, I'll probably faint when I see the achievements and how ridiculous they are. Oh. Ah, and the enemies can drop health for your drone. Your drone has its own health bar. It's the yellow thing under your red health bar. And ta-da! 
a new weapon. Hypo Atomizer. It's a useful weapon we'll be using for the next boss. Hell on earth. Ah, ah. Green floor. Ah. It's an enemy weapon. I put atomizer. It kind of like pulses up and down as you shoot it. Very useful for something coming up. Alright. Now we actually do go through here. This room's pretty nasty. Yeah, these enemies are everywhere. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try and. Oh god. What are you gonna. Oh, yep. Yeah. Actually, die out here. Amazing. Yeah, you can die very easily there because uh, those shots, they do spread damage as they explode. But our last save was just over here. So we're not far away. I mean, I'm dying more here than I did in the uh, the practice. That's okay. It shows how much damage things do. Lots of wide open space here that we haven't been able to uncover on our map. We can do it later though. We'll get some great abilities that lets us um, traverse the world a lot quicker and easier. Or Trace has had to die quite a few times. <laughs> Would have been unpleasant for him. Kill the you. Yeah, see that? The spread actually hits you from behind this wall. So you, you can't just safely snipe anything in this room. There we go. My mistake before was jumping over to grab the health. Before I kill the second enemy. Yeah, much easier. We can actually kill with these things while they're still in the pools. Makes them pretty easy to deal with. It was so good. And now these enemies are a bit, uh, a bit of, in a bit of a nasty spot. Because yeah, those shots hit the wall and then they splash. Yeah, that splash will hit you. And knock you off. Oh no. Yeah, that seems good for this spot. I do wish Nova did more damage. It's a lot of effort to actually hit things with it, but it doesn't seem like it does the damage that you'd want it to. There we go. This enemy we can just get rid of <laughs> very safely from here. But you might be wondering where the heck to go, like how to get up here. But this pool is a different colour than the others. And we can hack it and stand on it. Nice. Oh, there's, there's enemies. Actually, I forget what happens if you hack them. Come on, shoot your laser. Yep. <laughs> Killed that enemy over there. Very nice. Firewall. Actually, the firewall, firewall would be good against this thing. Yeah, firewall is a lot better than I gave it credit for. I just never tried it in a lot of spots. We want to send our drone up here. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Needed it to blow open the wall for us. Let me get a nice health node. Definitely want those. Get out of here. Get away from my health node. Two out of five. Need quite a few more to get another health upgrade, but that's okay. Alright, where are we at the moment? We're here, okay. Check me map. Any, uh, any, any achievements I'm particularly proud of? I've got all the achievements in Revengeance. Pretty proud of that. And these enemies, if you hack them, they become platforms, which you can ride. Then I don't think you can kill them anymore. 
are pretty weird enemies. They're pretty much just in your way, they don't really do much. Time to save! Okay, this next boss. This is what we want this weapon for. We almost got through to this one. <laughs> this one looks cool. A big crazy scorpion thing. It's rather awkward to damage it because you can only hit it in that green spot on its back. It's its only a weak point. So you gotta use a weapon that will actually go on. Hey, stop getting up so close to me. Yeah, so normally you do have the Nova at this point. So it's not like you can't fight this boss at any point. Yeah, you can shoot the Nova under it. I just find that a little awkward. You have to time it just right or your, your shot is completely wasted. Taking quite a few hits already, but yeah, we'll keep going. But yeah, this weapon, it's a... Uh, it just seems really ideal for this boss. It just makes like this carpet of shots. Is this boss is really staying up in my face this time. It wants me to die again, apparently. <laughs> Which could happen. This is a very long fight. Probably the least fun boss in the game, actually, because it just takes so long to kill. And a flamethrower from very far away, where it can't actually hurt us. <laughs> now this boss, um, I'm, you can't actually get behind it like you could the other one, because it'll turn around. The developer thought of that because it has a jump attack. So yeah, it's possible for it to jump over you. I like moving forwards as I shoot this weapon just to try to like offset where the, the shots are coming out. Just to make sure that one of them hits it. Because there is a bit of a space between the different shots. And pretty red already, but uh, it probably has a bit of health left still, as I found out in practice. <laughs> I should do like a, a test at some point just to see if it's quicker with the Nova or with this weapon. Oh jeez, don't get up so close. Back off buddy. Jeez, I didn't know I could get this close. I've never seen it get this close before. <laughs> That's, that was pretty unfair. <laughs> Welcome to Seku. And this game is not falling around this time. It looks like Otacon. <laughs> he does a little bit. He's missing the glasses though. Needs glasses. Oops. Oh jeez. Well, look how much damage those things do. Alright, let's get a heal. <laughs> That's better. Because it's a good argument for hacking these enemies. That they don't hurt you. But Kilva can deal with them. That's when you hack them, they become a block that you can't pass through, so they could get in your way. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see how well behaved the boss is this time. Because last time it was uh, really getting up in my face. Which was the smart strategy for it. The shots get a little closer together as the uh, as the boss's health gets lower. Flamethrower. 
I think I've never seen the boss use the flamethrower so close to you that you couldn't escape it. But it's probably possible considering what happened last fight. Uh, last fight. It probably was possible to dodge those shots. It was just so up close. It was like pixel perfect jump timing that was needed. There's actually another weapon that we could have at this point that could hit it, but uh, I don't think that would do as much damage as this weapon. And we don't have that weapon at the moment. It'll require a little bit of backtracking. I'll get that weapon later. Pretty cool weapon. It's my favorite. Uh, one of my favorites. Look, it has the uh, the very obvious cue when it's gonna. Well, usually it has an obvious cue when it's gonna duck and start shooting. Sometimes it doesn't though. You get plenty of warning though, at least. I did try and crawl under this in practice too, just to see if it does let you crawl under, but it doesn't. You'll get hurt if you do that. I really you can shoot it in the front. Ah, huh, I didn't know that. Oops, I'm uh, not watching properly now. Oh, okay, you can. Oh, well, maybe. Can't quite tell what hurt it there. What if that does more damage? Get away from me! Get away from me! Bad scorpion! Bad scorpion! Who's a bad scorpion? You are. Hey, it was probably about to die when I died last time. <laughs> Well, there you go. Only enough you can get by without killing that boss, eh? If you sequence break. And hey, another race. Extra Husker. What with drones? Just like our cute little drones. And uh, have a look at her head. Been torn open. Actually, go inside a little bit. Kind of messed up. It's just a little, little detail. Ah, another zombie. This one's blue though. It's a much tougher zombie. It does some damage. Very aggressive, takes a lot of hits. And we don't want to go that way just yet. That way leads us back. We want to go onwards. Hey, the drones. Can the drone go in further? I've never tried that. Might as well go try. Little drones. They're a different colour to our drone, but uh, hey, hey, how you doing? No, they don't want to know our drone. They're 
They're very driven in their task. Yeah, I'll try to remember to check if the drone can crawl around inside that head a bit more on the way back. Ever played Mega Turrican? No, I want to though. And we have these cute fuzzy things which are very deadly. The big ones aren't so bad, they're kind of just roadblocks. The little ones, they'll try and drop on your head. Actually the big ones do too, but the little ones are on the, the roof a lot more often. Hey, hey. Also if you hack them, they go kind of weird. <laughs> just a little bit weird. Another one of these enemies. There's three different kinds of these enemies in the game. Oh, it kind of killed itself. Yeah, when you hack them, they leave behind those blocks. But yeah, there's three different kinds of those enemies that zoom back and forth and make horrible noises. So if you go for the achievement to hack everything, hack all of these that you see because there's a few different varieties. Hack the laser, so we don't have to worry about that. Cute little things, but they must die. Because they're very dangerous. Oh, jeez. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh god, laser. Hack that laser, so I don't have to worry about it. Trigger you. There you go. But Oh, health. I'll get that. Thanks. Oh. Hey, I was using that platform. How rude. Jeez. This place has tons of enemies and you want to deal with them all because otherwise they'll get you on your way back. Enemies everywhere. Oh, Kilga. You're so good. Oh, laser. Oh, not going near that. Not sure what happened to that thing I just hacked. Oh. Whoa! That little enemy just killed... The laser thing. <laughs> I didn't know they did that. That's weird. I guess it changed the allegiance is different. Ah! I know you're there. Come on down. Welcome, Lauren. Come on. Get down here. Yeah. I took uh, more hits than I remember I'm taking. Double bars. You can try and hack through it, but you can't. We need to send our drone up. Let's do a little bit of exploring. Get the switch. And now we can go through. The drone's so useful. And that's just the other side of that switch. And woohoo, safe point. <laughs> Been needing that. Oh, that health refill. Very good. Do you recognise this area from the practice stream? Um, the stream might have been laggy at that point. Oh yeah, I should probably hack one of those big enemies to show what happens. When we see the next one, I'll hack it. And hey, look! Power node! Oh god! That's pretty mean. <laughs> the game tricks you there. And fall all the way down. But that's okay because we're about to get something cool. Well, our drone's about to get something cool and then it's going to bring it back to us. The grapple. Yes, there's a grapple in this game. It's good that whatever the drone picks up, we get to keep. And there's the grapple. There's a bit of a short range on it. It's very useful. The way the grapple controls in this game, it takes a bit of getting used to. It feels kind of weird. There's really no momentum to it. I really didn't like it at all when I first got it, but uh, now I've gotten used to how it works. And yeah, we want to go up here where the grapple was. 
Is this a thing we can get? A health node. Very good. Now we can finish climbing this massive room. Yeah, you kind of uh, you hang and then you just get you get your height set up right, and you just press the direction, and just keep holding whoop, keep holding that direction, and you'll uh, automatically jump off. It doesn't control at all like the Super Metroid grapple, but uh, once you get used to it, uh, it feels it feels fine, I think. Alright, let's get this power node. You can actually jump off of those crumbling blocks before they crumble. As I found out recently. Oh, and uh, to, to cross roofs like this, just mash the grapple button. Just mash it. Works just fine. Once you know that trick, it's uh, the grapple is much easier to handle. Mm, power node. Oh, missed. I want to fill out the squares down here. Hello, who that? And then we can uh, port through this wall. And hey, there's one of those big enemies. Take it. And it turns into one of the little enemies. <laughs> they kind of turn into each other when you hack them. It's an interesting little dynamic. A few enemies left, but yeah, now we can just kind of run through. We should be done with this room. We shouldn't have to come back here again unless there's a, a thing here. Which we haven't seen yet, so I won't say anything about it. Any secrets? Yes, yeah, so now we have the grapple. Uh, now we can... We can uh, remember that point of no return from way earlier. We can get through there now. Oh, hey, these little drones are now fighting enemies. Oh, it killed it. Oh, poor thing. Alright, so we'll uh, experiment with this poor dead thing. <laughs> this chat requested. No, the drone can't really do anything here. Is it worth a shot? Yes, we're going to go out this way. What are these horrible things? Get out of here. And that door down there it just leads to the boss room for some reason. I don't know what it's for. Kind of weird. And now we use our new grapple. I've, I've noticed there's a pattern of them giving you a health, a full health node after you fight a boss. So there's our health node. You can get that earlier because you can just climb in the pink stuff. It doesn't do that much damage. And now we're back in here. Lovely drill. Yeah, the grapple, it's actually something you can completely skip in a, in a speedrun. Or, you know, just in a normal playthrough if you like sequence breaking. You pretty much only need the grapple to get back to the earlier parts of the game. But if you don't save at all for most of this, then you can now save warp back to the start of the game. And skip the grapple. So that boss, you don't have to fight it at all. Even if you're doing a 100% playthrough, I watched a 100% speedrun and uh, they didn't do go to that boss until later. And uh, by that point, they had the ability to just skip the boss because they could get out the door. <laughs> Pretty good. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, what do we want to do now? Oh yeah, there, there is a thing here that we want. So we'll continue exploring this area for a little bit. We could get it later, but uh, I kind of want it now. Oh, jeez. Boulders. Oh, hang on. No, I'm seeing things. I thought I saw something, but I did not. There are certain secrets I'm on the, I'll look out for that are in a different spot in each playthrough that I'm looking out for, but I haven't seen any yet. Let's know. That'll help. Ooh, four out of five, nice. If you're trying to grapple over without just mashing the button, the spot will be pretty frustrating.
Okay, so we'll climb for a little bit more. Oh, you're in an awkward spot. We'll just kill you. <laughs> I don't even have to kill that thing. What weird enemies they are. And off we go. We get to see more of these uh, little enemies here. Not sure if you can actually explore this place without the grapple. Because these jumps look pretty high. Ooh, Kilver. You're begging to be Kilvered. This is a pretty big room. Pretty big, actually. This spot's a little tricky. You know what? Nova might be good here. These enemies, yeah, they will try and drop on you. <laughs> Can I trigger you? Nope. Almost. Oh, oh well. Alright. Try and dodge it. And I jumped into the other one. That's okay. Didn't do too much damage. They're kind of, if they're more bear-like, I'd say they're drop bears. They're more like little porcupine things, though. Okay, in this room is a thing that I want. The enemy's in an awkward spot. Aha! You know what, Nova. There we go. <laughs> Avoid taking damage on the way down. Just gonna dodge you. Whoa! And now we have another upgrade. The enhanced drone launch. Let's just shoot our drone further. That's a lot further, isn't it? It's very useful. We will need it to finish the game. We don't need it just yet, but I wanted it. It was around this spot anyway. Am I going to record stream the DMC4 Special Edition? Yes. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's one of those games that I uh, I need to get into groove of. I haven't been playing it very much at all. But so once I get in the groove of it, then I'll probably be streaming a lot of it. That's because I know when I know people will want to see the new characters, and I'm not very good at them yet, <laughs> especially Virgil, and he's the one everyone really wants to see. I'm real bad at him. So I need to just practice up and uh, learn how to actually play him. I can start streaming stuff. Okay. Ooh, we might as well show you what's in this room up here. Ah. Got a nice save point. Might as well use that while we're here. Near the top of the world. Over here, we can't really do anything, but uh, I want to show you what's here. Yeah. There's a door that leads to a new area, as you can see by the little arrow. But yeah, we can't uh, do anything there. We can get our drone in there. Our drone can't do anything there either. But that's something we'll do much later. Definitely not today. And there's Lady. Yeah, Lady's really fun to play. I love Trish the most out of the new characters, personally. She's really fun. Yeah, all three of them are really, really unique. I'm really impressed with how unique they made them all. Okay, I think we can get something down here. Go down a little bit further. This is a huge room, jeez. Oh god. There we go. We can get something from in here. Lore. We haven't had much lore yet. And it's another one we can't read. <laughs> Very exciting. 
Oh well. Actually, no, I didn't want to destroy my drone because uh, there's also something we can get from here. Another little drone gauntlet. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna go up until you're dead, mate. I know you're gonna hurt my poor little drone. Ah. What are you gonna do about that? You're gonna die, that's what you're gonna do. Hey, buddy. Oop, see ya. <laughs> There's a nice little thing we can get in here. Good. Oh, that's right, there's lots of laser enemies here. They're pretty awkward to deal with with the drone. See if we're going to hurt them before they reach us. This bloody enemy coming down from the ceiling is very annoying. There we go, it's dead. Yep. There. Health node. Oh, that's going to be more health now. I've had a five. Bing! Yeah. That's good. Anyway, continue to the right. But we have more lasers. Oh god. <laughs> they love making us deal with lasers as the drone, don't they? Just make us miss the hacking ability. Mm, zap. Oh, get some cover. Okay. Our poor drone's health is getting a bit low. Oh damn. I was hoping I could kill it. If your drone dies, then you'll you'll be teleported back. And you'll have to redo all this. You have to re oh god. You have to re-kill these enemies. Which is rather nasty. Oh. <laughs> this poor drone has the pixel left. Alright, let's be real slow and safe. Okay. Uh oh. Oh god! That was close. We got a little bit of health back. Yeah, anyway, let's go for it. Ooh, that was pretty close. But we got our reward. The reflector. I found a couple of uses for it. This game has a lot of weapons, as you're finding out. And this one bounces off of walls and stuff. Pretty good. Yeah, the thing with the weapons in these games is that no enemies are actually weak to any particular weapon, except for like, like these ones, they work actually differently than your normal weapons, but all these weapons we can pick, they all have the same properties when it comes to actually damaging enemies. They don't do extra damage or anything. Let's pretty much get the one that has the firing pattern you like. Vip. Vip. Can I bounce? Ah, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Hmm, haven't found any of these uh, things I'm looking out for. Hmm, oh. Well. We're pretty much done in this area now. Yes, Virgil's smug meter is a concentration meter, or focus meter, I forget what it's actually called. Either way though, it's pretty good. And uh, there's a secret here which I will mark, just so I remember that it's there. Oh, didn't quite kill you in time. Doesn't feel like the reflector does a lot of damage. That's a pretty tight jump actually. <laughs> Now I'm going to save here just to make sure I've uh, updated my spawn point. Okay, now we've got some new stuff we can do. But uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can collect now. I'm kind of going to travel backwards and collect things. Just to be able to just the movement in this game looks sluggish. 
it doesn't. It might just be because the stream's at 30 FPS. I wanted to stream this at 60, but um, I kind of had to choose between streaming at 1080p 30 or 720p 60. And this game doesn't look great at 720p, I found. It looks a little blurry. It doesn't have a. It just scales up from its base resolution, which I, I forgot what that is, but it doesn't scale up neatly to 720p. I picked making it look sharper over making it look smoother. Most games, though, I can stream quite nicely at the 720p and they'll look fine. Or 720p 60 and they'll look fine. I'll show you this area because this is an interesting place. I won't really be using it much just because of the route I'm taking in this playthrough. We can use the grapple hook now to get over here where we meet a another giant head. This one doesn't talk though. Its name is... I've actually forgotten its name. But it's actually a fast travel system. Jump on it and it'll take you... This is a huge corridor. It uh, spans all the way back to uh, the first area, Erebu. So this is our fast travel. But I don't actually want to use it at the moment. So you face the way you want to go and then you jump and she'll take you there. That's all she does. She doesn't really talk or anything. She's kind of nightmarish, by the way. <laughs> kind of creepy. Now we're going to click things. Is there anything here that I want to grab before we move on? Um, oh yes, there is actually. There's something we can get down here. Oh, actually no, it's over here. Bounce things everywhere. And oh, they don't, they actually expire, don't they? That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. Back to the Axiom Disruptor, our standard weapon. I'm not sure if the level 2 hacking makes things like this hack quicker. It might, they seem to hack pretty quickly. Now I should try hacking those enemies actually. I forgot what they do. I think maybe they start floating around. Yeah, they start floating around in a rather weird manner. And it's another little drone in here now. Node. That's Node Fragment, sorry. <laughs> and uh, we we might be able to do this. A little awkward to do though. With our current skill set. There we go. See if we can get in there. Oops, that's the drill, that's not the grapple. Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! We did it. Look how quickly we drill through those things. Boop. Okay, we can ignore most of this. This room's kind of weird. Oh, actually, no, I can't do this yet, can I? No. I, th I think what you're supposed to do here is hack these enemies, which turns them into platforms. And I think you're supposed to ride them up. But as you can see, their movement is completely... It's just really random and ridiculous. And, um... No. I tr no. <laughs> I'm going to do that later when it's much easier to do it. There's a lot of things you can just... You have a lot of different approaches on how you want to uh, do them. And that one I'm going to get later. When we have much better abilities. I like the idea of the guy being named Axiom and the drone being named Verge. I like that too, actually. <laughs> all these blue lasers. They're all our friends. Yeah, so things reset. Uh, it, the game remembers the last, like, two or three rooms. And everything beyond that resets. Mm -hmm. Oh, interrupted me. There we go. I was wondering if damage interrupted that, and it does. Thank you, just so you're not annoying. 
Oh, actually, I, I need your help, actually. I can't teleport through there. There's a block in the way. Thank you. And I don't remember which was the last save point I used, so we'll use this one. Yeah, this game's a lot creepier than Metroid. It's just, it's got stuff in it that's just a little not quite right, a little disturbing. Alright, this area, we can actually collect everything in this area now. And we're going to start by going down, because there's something interesting to see down here. And the going down this room is actually rather nasty. <laughs> Because these enemies are very good at hitting you when, when they're above you. Kuva, yeah. Oh. Ah, we're going to finally fill out that part of that room. Alright, so remember that uh, face we saw earlier. Oh, she's been fixed by the repair drones. Let's go say hi. She's a weird one, by the way. <laughs> Makes mind worlds, whatever that means. And I love that line from her, by the way. I'll I'll get back to that way later. That's a really great line from her. <laughs> yeah, nice meeting you. <laughs> and we have to climb on her to get in the back where she's keeping this weird thing she stole from Athetos. These look like big pulsating hearts or something. They're freaky anyway. And text. Text we can actually read. I'll let you just read it if you want. Gertab. I think that was the scorpion thing that we killed. I think. I have trouble remembering the boss names. And here we have the weirdest item of the game. The passcode tool? Manipulates reality? It's a really strange tool. <laughs> now if we go on the menu, which I haven't actually shown the inventory screen. We can look at our weapons and check out our upgrades and stuff. See how many health fragments and stuff we have. But now we have this screen, the passcode screen, which we didn't have before. You can put in passwords. So naturally. Because this is heavily inspired by Metroid. Justin Bailey. <laughs> yep. The game has a Justin Bailey code. So you can run around in a speedo if you want. But not gonna, because I like the lab coat. So that uh, note we saw. Yeah, here's where we look at our notes. The command is Reveal Sudrin. We'll type that in. See if that does anything. Oops. 
Yeah, I had no idea what to do with this passcode tool when I first played the game. It's a really strange little thing to have. Oh, that lets us translate one of these notes. This one here is now translated. This one is not. This one, though. Public notice. Depressing. Them dying of the plague. Hey, thanks for the weird passcode thing, lady. See ya. Well, that's what that does. Let us read some of the notes that we pick up that we couldn't before. Alright, now we're going to go on a bit of a collecting spree. Whee! And you can go through here. You can see that the map continued downwards, or well, this room continued downwards on the map. Just had to figure out how to get down here. Which took me a little while to figure out. But as always, the drone. It's our friend. Okay. Oh boy. Hang on. Let's reset that room. <laughs> also, these enemies, we can hack them now. Okay, that room didn't reset, because I forgot rooms don't reset like that. So hacking that thing makes it move way slower and make it way easier to deal with. And hacking that uh, wall thing makes it give us health. That's pretty cool. The health dispenser. And we'll hack you. Because it does real weird things to you. Turns it into the, those flying enemies from like the first area. But it's just fun trying to hack on the different enemies just to see how weird and messed up they get. With some enemies it makes them easy to deal with and with some it doesn't. And there's a uh, thing here. Oh, there's a node. Pick up projectiles again. I don't, I don't know if that affects Kilver. I forget what exactly the size nodes affect. Never noticed those things make, make a little sound effect. Hmm, interesting little noise they make. Scorpion enemy. We still don't have a good way of dealing with it, do we? Maybe the, oh, reflector, maybe. Can we reflect things into it? Hmm. Not really. We can just axiom disruptor it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We can get through here now. Get some more optional stuff. That's right, we've already hacked those enemies, it just can go slower. And these green things. They grab onto you and start leeching your health. So screw that. Come a little bit closer, buddy. Oh! And it kind of makes them stick in place. So you don't have to worry about them. Which is good. Oh god. Because <laughs> getting our health sapped when... At, well, actually, you know, it might not do that much damage. Oh, well, they actually do. They do a fair bit of damage to us. On hard difficulty, anyways. There. And we have some health refills, courtesy of these crazy wall enemies. Hmm, health. I love it. They go from dispensing yellow balls of death to delicious red health. Oh jeez, that always surprises me. It's, it's, that one's not telegraphed like these enemies normally are. Kind of mean. Ah, we'll just kill that one. You know, what, actually, it will be easier just to hack it because of the awkward angle we have. And all that for a power node fragment. One out of six. Wow, I forgot you need six power node fragments to get an upgrade of that. That's quite a lot. Mm, health. Thank you. They're still there spitting out health. 
Oh god, all these enemies came back. Alright, let's see if we can just kill them without having to stand and hack them all the time. Okay. We can. I thought that triggered them to come charging at you, but it doesn't. Oh god. Get off of me! Oof, jeez. Had a tough time actually shooting that one. Oh, health. Thank you. I see all the health it took for me earlier. <laughs> then just one of these for some reason. It's trying to it's trying to be like the other enemies, but it doesn't know how. And this scorpion is in a really awkward spot, by the way. Not sure how you get out of there without getting damaged. Oh, actually, I'll use this save point down here. Yeah, I'll use this save point. Get some health back. We'll go and clip some things from up near the top. No, okay. Thought I saw something. I'm still looking at the, for these secrets, but uh, it's tough, tough to tell where they're going to be. I face through the wall instead of going down. Do you mean the, the one I drilled through? Yeah, I forgot I could uh, just teleport through the wall, but yeah. Uh... Or do you mean a different room? There's enough uh, delay here that it's tough to tell which room people are referring to. Mm. Got that upgrade finally. That's no fragment. Didn't get rid of our reminder. Where's our map? Yeah. You can have two reminders per area. Very useful. Oh, no, we can't uh, face through there. Too big. Oh, I th do, you, do you mean up here? Oh, yep, I could have. I could have phased through that wall instead of jumping down on the, on the scorpion. Ah, so that's how you do it. Thanks. I didn't think of that. It's easy to forget that you can phase through balls of that size. <laughs> that somersaulting enemy? Pretty silly. What a silly enemy. And your attack is to somersault into things. I can't take you seriously, sorry. Okay, this spot. This is a little drone gauntlet. Run, little drone! So this is a pretty long little gauntlet that you have to do with the drone. But if you can't do it, you can come back later and do it much easier, but uh, I want to do it now. Because we want the thing. We want things. So it's pretty much about taking it slow and steady and learning where the enemies are. Oop. And learning how to deal with them while taking minimal damage. Like this green thing. If we're patient, we can kill it with no damage. Eventually. You gonna die any time soon? There we go. <laughs> it is worth it to go through this trouble though. Because uh, it's probably my favourite thing in the game that we get. Oh, actually no, not my favourite. My favourite weapon. Not quite my favourite upgrade. But it's my favourite weapon. And I used to stop and fight those things. I don't know why I did that. I just run past them. No point to stopping and fighting them. And these enemies will jump over you if you let them. And uh, here you might have to do the gauntlet twice because there's actually a platform down here. You need to fall and then hold right. There we go. Very easy to not to like fall past that and then be like, damn. Because you uh, fall past it and you can't get back up. <laughs> Very painful. Yeah, so there's two things we get here. And some more... Law? I don't know what exactly this one means, but I'll let you read it. So English? They used to know English? Yeah, that one's very... Even when you know the backstory of the game and what's going on, that one's still confusing as heck. 
I have a little pool of zombies. I'm gonna stop and just fight them just to be safe. Probably run past them. But why be risky? I risk having to redo this. I think they're only just the normal zombies, not the blue ones, which are much tougher. And boop! We have my favourite weapon. Varange. It's pretty cool. Crazy green lasers. They go everywhere. Can you see why this is my favourite weapon? It's pretty great. And I clip something from near the boss room. Yes, this weapon. So good. Just the spread on it is so good just to make sure you just hit pretty much everything. The damage on it is pretty good too. Not as good as Varan, uh, sorry. Silver, yeah. But it's, it's a great long range tool. And now we have the grappling hook. We can grapple across this ceiling. Node fragment. We've almost got everything from here now. There's just there's that big room towards the middle we haven't been in yet. Well, we started going in there, but we couldn't do anything. So we'll go do that, and then we can move backwards to the second area. But we can also collect some things, but uh, there's a lot there we can't collect yet. So this area, though, we can finish it when. Love this weapon. Look at all that green stuff. We just vomited all over the screen. Also, this room back here, which we couldn't uh, get through before. Boing. We can get through it. Now we have the uh, grapple. Oh, yeah, there we go. Put in my map square. And this leads us up to the fast travel area again. And the head will appear wherever we appear in this room. Which is useful. She's just... I don't know, I guess she's watching out for us. Yeah, so most of the entrances to the fast travel place you can't actually get into until you have the, uh, the grappling hook. The grappling hook unlocks the, the ability to backtrack. Which unlocks the ability to get to the next main area, which we get to from the very first area. Zombies. Oops. Wrong. Can't be bothered dealing with them. Use our new laser. Yeah, it's definitely not as strong as Kilva, as you can see, but it has a hell of a range and a spread on it. So these swipping between these two is pretty great. You got a tool for almost every situation. Yeah, so this room below us, that's what we want to explore. And the quick select feature, I didn't actually know that existed <laughs> until I finished my first playthrough. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I, uh, I was watching Slow Beef's playthrough and he figured it out in like the first 10 minutes. He's like, oh look, I can do this thing. I feel real dumb. I want to kill you because we can. I don't think we're going to be passing through here again, so we don't need to kill them. Might as well save. Haven't saved in a while. The nice thing about this game is you can save and quit at any time, and it will we'll actually save your progress. It'll just put you back at the last save point. But you'll keep whatever upgrades and whatever you got. So if you have to stop playing at any point, you can just save and quit. Ready, zombies? I haven't actually hacked one of them yet, have I? We'll hack them. Hacking them is actually really good. Slows them way down. Very good.
Hey buddy, you can't get me from there. Stop being silly. You can get me though. We can get this thing which we saw ages ago, but, but couldn't click. Lovely health node. Four out of five. And our health bar is so big compared to what it used to be. It was like two squares big when we started. And there's a zombie here. Bad zombie. It's fun blowing up those little things on the walls. It doesn't do anything. It, it, might, it might contribute to the uh, one of the achievements. But I already got all those, so... It's just fun to do. Alright, make sure I didn't miss anything on our way through. That we can uh, travel back to the previous area. Ah, kill them. These enemies aren't particularly scary anymore. We can just kind of tank them. I love this area's music, by the way. It's great. People still making LPs on something awful? Yeah. Yeah, the LP sub forum's still going. I don't really go there much anymore because I don't really watch LPs anymore. But, uh... Yeah, they're still... When I last checked in, there were quite a few LPs still going. Down we go! Oh, <laughs> I thought it might not reach me, but it did. And right before we leave this area, there's something very interesting over here. Because we can now high jump up here. Lots of scorpions in this game, isn't there? Scorpion boss, little scorpions. Oh, actually, there's a, a thing here we want. Mm -hmm. Nice little item. A range node. Increases the range of certain weapons. I'm not sure what weapons that actually applies to. Maybe stuff like the reflector. Makes it expire less. Yeah, I think it actually does apply to that. Yeah. It is tricky to tell what weapons are actually getting affected by which. Upgrades. Oh. Ah, gotcha. There's something really interesting in here. And also there's something annoying. Zombies which were hiding in the ground. <laughs> I call them the jump scare zombies. Oh, and when you um hack a zombie, it, it upsets all the other zombies in the room too. Yeah, those zombies are just waiting to hop out at you as you walk over. I don't know how you're supposed to know they're there. You've got this weird pattern here, but... I don't know, that's not a great tip off, I don't think. What a mean! And hey! A syringe! Oh! Causes mutation, mm, okay. Please, take them. Surprisingly okay with this. But we have the crazy arms, as I like to call them. We have extra arms, sure. And they shoot when we shoot. You can like hold the shoot button, they'll keep going. They only appear when you're at full health. But they're a bit of extra damage. It's pretty neat, I like it. Crazy arms. Oh, the uh, range does make your Kilver go further. Okay, that's really good to know. That's good, because Kilver's great. Anything that buffs Kilver is uh, automatically great. Oh, 
Lost that crazy arms. Oh well. We'll get him back. Why am I not just kill Varant? <laughs> That's a good question. I can just skip you. And I think we... Okay, we have missed something in this area. Okay, what have we missed? We have the purple dot on there. Our uh, map. That shows that we have the whole map uncovered. Very good. But we have missed an item. Hmm. Not actually sure what that is. Oh, I know what that is. That's way back up there. I will remember to get that on the way through. Oh, I wish you could, uh, you can't move your cursor around the map and mark off something, unfortunately. So I'll just leave a reminder here. But there's one thing we need to collect from here. I should have looked at my map more often. Oh well. Oh, we can't make that jump, but grapple! Woo! Yes, yeah, so you get a yellow dot on your map when you have everything from an area, and a purple dot when you've unlocked all the map. I probably need to come back here and scour it later anyway, because yeah, there's some secrets that I haven't bumped into yet. I thought I would have by now. I'm really surprised. There's quite a few of them. Yeah, nano machines basically. Okay, back in Abzu. And we'll collect a couple of things here and then I will have to call the stream. So it's lunchtime and I also have some things I have to do this afternoon once I have lunch. But we'll collect a couple of things on our way out. Very useful, you can climb on these little pink things. And you can also blow them up. Because why not? Always got to have things to blow up just for fun. Now this room we didn't go in before. I, I can't remember if we can do this room yet. We shall find out. Man, these things die quick now, don't they? <laughs> they don't have much of a chance. Man, that looks pretty, uh, that looks more messed up than it usually does. That looks pretty freaky, doesn't it? Jeez. Oh, and there's, uh, there's something here. We'll come back. One of those floating enemies. Hey, there's one left. I don't want you, yeah, don't want you chasing me. Ah, dribbling through all the blocks like this, it's great. And we get another weapon. There's a lot of weapons in this game, did you know that? Inertial Pulse. Uh, parametric passwords. Uh, I have not played around with those. I've, they're mainly if you want to cheat. They actually disable achievements from what I've heard. Yeah, I've never actually used those. They just like boost your stats and stuff. I mean, maybe, maybe I could do it like when I finish the game at the, in the final stream. Yeah, so this is a... Uh, this weapon will pierce through enemies. Pretty useful. Only shoots straight, but yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to play around with those passwords. I've seen what they are, but... Uh, I've never actually played with them. I, I saw the words, disables achievements, and I went, nope! <laughs> and went the other way. Yeah, so you might notice there's something freaky happening to our screen right now. We have scan lines. Particularly here. So we're going to play around here and... Oh, there we go. Doesn't really answer us. 
But yeah, we're in a freaky little glitch world. So I am going to mark this off my map, because I like just remembering where these are. These are the secret worlds. They're not in like the speedrun mode. They're uh, they're randomly generated when you create your file. And there's a whole load of different spots they can possibly be in. And they're yeah, they're procedurally generated. So you never know what you're gonna get with these things. They're pretty messed up basically. A little glitch pocket. This is, these are the things I've been looking at for this whole time. Every time I'm like, oh, did I see something? It's because I've been looking for these uh, secret worlds. That's, that's how you know where they are. You see the scan lines appear on your screen. That tells you that one of them is near. Interestingly, they're, they're not required for like 100% map or 100% items. But I like to get them anyway. Because uh, there's, there's, a, there's one really interesting thing we get near the end of the game. But uh, most of them is just like range nodes and stuff. But you know, it's more power-ups. Who says no to power-ups? And plus they're really interesting. Look how messed up this place is. There's, uh, there's five per playthrough actually. There's, um, I think there was five anyway. There's two in the easy areas, there's two in the mediums, and there's one in the hard. So this is one of them. They only appear one uh, one per zone, and some zones won't have them. So we kind of have to experiment a little bit to figure out where they are. Gee, look how messed up this room is. It's pretty freaky. Oh, <laughs> they still hit me when I was going through the door. <laughs> oh well. So these, yeah, often the rooms remind you of other rooms from the actual real world. And this one has had tons of these purple enemies flying around. Yeah, the enemies you'll get depend on what zone you found the secret world in. Oh jeez, are we going to be able to get out of here? Hmm. Hopefully there's another way out. Don't want to have to save and quit. Interesting, I've never had a, one of those appear in the secret world. Laser. Bloody zombies. If only this weapon would pierce through uh, walls. Well, this is probably a bad idea actually, let's stop and kill these enemies. Running through when you don't know what's up ahead is a bad idea. More zombies. <laughs> mm, more health though. This is a big one. You do get a little map that you uncover as you travel through and explore. Ah, we got one of our power-ups. A range node. Very cool. Yeah, when I first found a secret world it freaked me out and um, between that and Elsa Nova's warnings, like I, I, I'm a phobia of glitches and with Elsa Nova going, turn back it's dangerous, I'm like oh okay I just left. <laughs> and came back later when I had the courage to see what was in here. But it turns out they're not actually that scary. One of normal enemies in a uh, in an environment that looks pretty glitchy, but isn't that bad. It's fun to explore them though because, yeah, I don't know the layout so it's interesting. And good, we were able to get out of there. I was worried. Sometimes the layouts are really difficult to navigate. Not impossible, but very difficult. Oh, jeez. Being difficult to navigate. Not actually difficult, I'm just being an idiot. Being bad at platforming. Mm, health. Alright, there's a door back here we haven't been through. So there's probably another thing to collect in here. Don't play Sonic 06? <laughs> yeah, I watched an LP of that. It was hilarious. And not in the ways that the creators intended, that's for sure. You know, I, I want to go back to my beautiful green lasers. Yeah, so much easier. God, look at it, hitting everything. Aha! Health node. 
Oh yes, five out of five. Thank you. But yeah, if you start exploring secret worlds and collecting like health node fragments, and then you don't want to finish the secret worlds, but you want to get 100%. Like yeah, these these items they don't count towards 100%. But at the end of the game, once you collected everything, you'll have like some health node fragments left over because uh, there's like there's exactly enough in here for a full health node in all the secret worlds. And secret worlds are not in speedrun mode, because uh, speedrun mode gets rid of all the RNG sort of stuff. Which secret worlds are. I think we're done in here. Yep, we collected everything. Ooh. I'm glad we got to actually see a secret world. I was getting worried that I was missing them all and I was going to have to backtrack a whole lot to see them. Because they're very interesting little elements of the game. Some great flavour. Get out of here. You can you could save and quit if you want and not have to backtrack. But I figure we can collect a couple other things on the way out. We're not in here, but uh, back in the real world, so to speak. Wait for those who would disappear. This is a pretty big one. I keep thinking they're going to be like really short little excursions, but you know, they're pretty sizable. Love this. We get weirdness like this, just lines of the bubbles that just aren't interactable and don't really do anything. Yeah, it's, it looks really neat. And we're back in the real world. Ah, feels good. Would you mind not sharing that stuff for me? Thank you. You know what? I'll blow you all up. Ta -da! A magic trick. Fill in this map square. Put a couple more things in uh, Absu. And then we'll call it. It's been a pretty nice link stream, I think. We've made a lot of progress in this game. Or at least a third through, I think. Bum, bum, bum. Then next time we stream, we can check out my favourite area because that's where we're up to. Three things. And there is something to pick up in this area. We need a little drone to help us out, though. Go, little drone, you can do it. We believe. more lore. But it's more lore that we can't read. You don't get to translate these ones for quite a while. Because they do have some spoilers in them. But oh well, we have it, so we can read it later. Okay, we've already got the thing in this room. And there is a door over there. See, there's a door down there we haven't gone through yet. But we can't actually do anything there yet. And I don't think... At the bottom of this room there's another door, but I don't think we can go through there yet either. We need something else. Yeah, alright. Well, I might as well go jump in the save point, and then we'll call the stream. And next time we'll uh, click a couple more things in this area. And then we'll move on to new stuff. And before we say if we have to fill out that map. <laughs> Gotta fill out all those little... Oh look at... There's five save points in this area. And we have to fill out all of them. <laughs> it's really mean they don't let you uncover that. Until you get a high jump. Oh well. Anyway, so that is our first Axiom Verge stream. That was a lot of fun and thank you all for watching. Well, we'll be back some at some point next week. Play some more. Lasers, crazy arms. There's there's some 
really cool other upgrades to come still too. Yeah, next time we get to check out my favourite area, my favourite sequence in the game. Yeah, so thank you all for watching and um, I'll see you next time. I'll tweet when I'm uh, going to do the next stream. Sometime next week. See you guys.